Hello and welcome to my countdown of the must-see movies opening in UK cinemas between now and Easter. There's nothing better than being immersed in a great movie and, as you'll see, the new lineup offers plenty for every taste. Personally, I can't wait for Brie Larson's debut as Captain Marvel and her follow-up appearance in Avengers Endgame, where so much hangs in the balance for our heroes after Infinity War, the top grossing release of 2018. Captain Marvel and Endgame are two of the most highly anticipated movies of 2019, and I have an inkling that many of you will already have them on your to-do list. So, in this countdown, I'm gonna focus on what else you and your friends might consider this spring. If you're ready, here we go. My number 10 released in mid-March is a feel-good British comedy. Called Fisherman's Friends, it's about a group of Cornish fishing folk who record an album of sea songs and find themselves with a top 10 hit on their hands. What's not to like? Based on a true story from Port Isaac, it has a heartwarming troupe of actors, Daniel Mays, Dave Johns, James Purfoy, Noel Clark, and Tuppence Middleton among them. If you enjoyed the Full Monty or Calendar Girls, don't miss Fisherman's Friends. It's quite a catch. The bottom line is, you've got a unique sound, and we believe we can help you get it released by a major label. <laughs> My number nine couldn't be more different. The Prodigy is a pulse-pounding horror film starring Taylor Schilling from Orange is the New Black. Here, she plays Sarah, a mum who's desperate to discover what's causing her young son's increasingly disturbing behaviour. And speaking of the devil, let me add that April brings a new adaptation of one of Stephen King's most chilling novels, Pet Cemetery. Jason Clarke and John Lithgow star in the tale of evil rising from beyond the grave. There's something that brings things back. Back to my countdown, and my number eight is a comedy. What Men Want that puts a modern twist on the Mel Gibson rom-com from 2000, What Women Want. Taraji P. Henson plays a sports agent who gets a bump on the head and starts hearing men's inner thoughts. In her life and her career, is this an advantage or a curse? Either way, it sounds like a wickedly entertaining night out. I feel weird after last night. Yeah, that's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Stop doing that. Holy crap. Can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts. <laughs> At number seven comes The Informer, a thriller with Joel Kinnaman as an ex-con who gets himself imprisoned so he can infiltrate the mob inside the jail. Rosamund Pike, Clive Owen and Anna de Armas are also at the centre of the action which was filmed in New York and here in London. Kozlow was a convicted felon. He is also an informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. We have a buyer. I'm gonna take everything you got, Kozlow. You're a cop. If these guys find out you're a cop, you're a dead man, you understand? My number six is a British film, The White Crow. It tells of Russia's finest dancer, Rudolf Nureyev, who in 1961 slipped through the fingers of his KGB minders and defected to the West. He went on to change perceptions of ballet around the world. David Hare wrote the screenplay and it's directed by Ray Fiennes, who also appears as Nureyev's dance teacher, Pushkin. Nureyev himself is charismatically portrayed by an actor new to the big screen, Oleg Ivenko. Rudy, you dream of a world that isn't this one. He has to go to Soviet Union. They're trying to kidnap me. Rudy, you have to say what you want. What's your name? I want to be free. Number five now. Wonder Park is an animated comedy opening for the Easter holidays. It's all about the most amazing theme park with soaring rides and talking animals that was the brainchild of an imaginative girl named June. And 
when things start to go wrong, she's the only one who can put them right. The suitably wonderful voice cast has Jennifer Garner, Matthew Broderick, and Mila Kunis. When kids get older, they stop believing, and all the imagination goes away. That's when everything wonderful turned bad. Bring it down, Gandalf. Whoa! Number four is the big screen reboot of an iconic supernatural character from the Dark Horse comic books. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats for Hellboy. David Harbour assumes the red-skinned mantle alongside Ian McShane as his mentor and Mila Jojovic as the vengeful sorceress against whom Hellboy must defend our future. The action is directed by British filmmaker Neil Marshall, responsible for movies like The Descent and Dog Soldiers. You are mankind's best and only hope. I thought we were supposed to be fighting monsters, not working with them. We've reached my number three, which is Red Joan, with the great Judy Dench as Joan Stanley, who, as an elderly lady, is arrested for treason. In flashback, we join young Joan, played by rising star Sophie Cookson at Cambridge University. Gradually, her hidden career as a Soviet spy unravels before our eyes. Trevor Nunn directed the film, which also stars Tom Hughes, Stephen Campbell Moore, and Ben Miles. Imagine one atom split. Producing huge amounts of energy. War ending bomb. The Russians need your help. The bomb must be shared. For my number two, let's fly high with Dumbo. This is Tim Burton's live action rendition of the beloved story of the baby elephant born with oversized ears who saves a struggling circus only for its dark secrets to emerge. The big top roll call has Danny DeVito as the circus owner, Colin Farrell as Dumbo's minder, Michael Keaton as a slick entrepreneur, and Eva Green as the trapeze artist Colette. Believe me, this British made Dumbo will be a memorable treat for all the family to share. Where are they taking her? Take Dumbo back inside. But she's his mom. Do something. She needs us. Look at me. We're gonna bring your mama home. My number one then is Shazam. In the DC Comics universe, this is what happens when a streetwise teenager says a magic word and immediately turns into an adult superhero, Shazam, played by Zachary Levi. If, like Deadpool, you want your superheroes to save the world with a dash of humor, just say the word Shazam. Shazam! Gentlemen! You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. You're dead. And that, Shazam, wraps up my top 10 countdown. I hope I've tempted you with the fantastic variety of films coming this spring, and that whatever you choose, you'll have a thrilling ride. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch online. I've been Alex Zane, and I'll see you at the movies. Bye bye.